Okay, this is a book review of the book Beating Cancer with Nutrition by Patrick Quillen, PhD. Okay, he's on the internet. I'll show you the internet page in a minute. Uh, now, if you got cancer, before you start radiation and chemotherapy, especially, try eating food that this book recommends. Uh, the cause of cancer was discovered, and the cure for cancer was discovered by Otto Warburg, who won two Nobel Prizes according to the Encyclopedia Britannica. He won in 1931 and 1944. Uh, being Jewish, uh, he was a German Jew, and uh, Hitler would not let him go get it, so he never really properly received it. Uh, and it's, it's confirmed by the Encyclopedia Britannica that he won too. 1927, he discovered if m most, if not all, cancers are uh, anaerobic; they can't stand oxygen. And by feeding, eating the right food that oxygenates the body, basic whole foods, whole vegetables, whole fruit, okay, not processed food as much as possible. Uh, Keep trying to eat minimum amount of uh, meat. You can have steaks, you can have beef, you can have can uh, pork, you can have, but eat, try to eat it minimally because too much meat will cause acidity and that's the cause of, possible cause of cancer. And you have to eat, uh, eat proper nutrition to get rid of the cancer. Um, I recommend this book very highly Okay, there's a similar book like this called Alkalize or Die. When you're, alkali when you're alkaline, your body's alkaline, you are basically oxygenated as opposed to acidic, which is lack of oxygen. And, uh, and lack of oxygen produces cancer. It's an, it's an acidosis growth. If that makes any sense to anybody. Um, okay, it's based on the work of Otto Warburg, as I said before, in... Uh, 1966, Otto Warburg, it's on the internet, by the way, Otto Warburg, W-A-R-B-U-R-G, would lash out at a conference of Nobel Prize winners, he would lash out at the cancer industry. Basically, the cancer industry is not interested in a cure for cancer. Because if there's a cure for cancer, they don't make any money. Does that make any sense? So cancer, the Cancer Society is really a front for the pharmaceutical industry. The Heart, the heart Association is a front for the a pharmaceutical industry. The Diabetes Association is a front for the pharmaceutical industry. These are basically ways to raise money to, to, for cancer, diabetes, research, heart research. They're not interested in cures per se. Okay, we'll get into an, another segment. We'll talk, cause, we'll, we'll talk about the cure for heart disease. Okay, that's not that hard. To, uh, that's pretty easy also, it turns out. Uh, but anyway, get this book. And with the, in the book, you'll find, you'll get on the back of the book, there'll be a CD. See the CD there? And that CD is worth its weight in gold. Okay? This book you can get at Amazon.com real cheap, and it's uh, you can also get it from Barnes and Noble. Most libraries will carry this book, and so you can borrow it. Make sure the CD is in there for twenty for fifteen twenty bucks, depending if you if you get more than twenty five dollars worth of, of uh, books at Amazon, you get free shipping. It's very easy to get. Most libraries will have it. Um, this is probably the definitive book that I can tell is on, on, on beating cancer with nutrition. Let's go now to uh, Patrick Quillen. That's the guy who wrote this book. Okay, website. And it's right there, patrickquillen.com. You can hear him do talk on there. He'll, you can actually email him. You have any questions he worked now he's an insider he worked for the uh, cancer centers of america let's go back to the book here this 
American Cancers of America. Uh, so he knows, he knows what he's talking about. He's got a lot of stuff here on cancers. So let's talk about some things that he doesn't have in here. Now, what happens if you have breast cancer? What are you going to do uh, about that? Uh, let's see if I can remember. Uh, we'll, we'll get that into him. We'll, get, we'll go into that in a minute. Uh, if I can recall. Uh, so let's look at the table of contents. Oh yeah, watercrest, watercrest. Now watercrest is available more in Europe than in America, but in, in Wegman's uh, depart, uh, supermarket here in Binghamton, in Binghamton, in Binghamton, New York area, is a Wegman supermarket, and they have make uh, watercrest sandwiches. Now you can, uh, but unfortunately, you we don't you can't buy usually watercrest from most supermarkets. So you can, but you can gr grow your own. You can get watercress seeds and grow your own, or you can ask the, the supermarket to get it for you. If enough people ask, then uh, they'll probably provide it for you. It's mostly European. Now, watercress, it turns out, uh, is very uh, can stop breast cancer. Uh, I got uh, this information from uh, on Good Morning America program where uh, Dr. Pericone was on, and he happened to mention it, and I said, wow. Of course, they never put it on the website, but I looked it up on the internet, and there's dozens, if not hundreds, of web pages devoted to uh, uh, watercress and breast cancer. Just put those three, wor three words in there, breast cancer, watercress, W-A-T-E-R-C-R-E-S-S, -E -E -S -S, okay? It's a... Uh, an, kind of an herb that they add, they make sandwiches with in Europe, and um, he, Dr. Pericone, recommends t eating watercress three times a week. You can make it in sandwiches. You can put it in, in soup. Put make a salad out of it. Uh, what it does is it stops the and the gene that causes breast cancer. It, sto it stops it from expressing itself, according to the websites. You can look it up yourself. You can go to any library that has a computer and look it up. Watercress breast cancer, three words. Google it. Uh, so that's, that's, that's a cure for breast cancer. And uh, what, what else can we say about this stuff? Um, so you can look up uh, Otto Warburg, 1966, Cancer conference, his speech on cancer. I'm, I'm sure you can find it. I found it. Um, and he's on Wikipedia also. Uh, by the way, uh, Otto Warburg uh, produced two Nobel, he, he taught two Nobel Prize winners. One of them is Hans Grebs of the Krebs cycle. Hans Greb, Grebs, Grebs, I believe. Anyway, he wrote, a, he wrote the autobiography of. Uh, Otto Warburg, and that would be the definitive answer. If not, he if he did or did not win two Nobel prizes, uh, the Encyclopedia Britannica says argue no that he did not win two Nobel prizes. But the Encyclopedia, uh, with the Wikipedia argues against it. The Encyclopedia Britannica definitely says he won two Nobel prizes. But Hitler in 1944, since he was a German Jew, he did not let him go get it. But he was too important for for Hitler to kill. And so he, uh, he lived past the World War II. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope this helps people with uh, cancer. Try to get the, and this as soon as you can. Do not wait until you're very, very, very sick with chemo and radiation. Chemo and radiation may stop the cancer temporarily, but it usually comes back in two or three years because you get the same, you're doing the same lifestyle, and you've got to uh, you've got to change your ways. Thank you very much.